The first two games of D'Artagnan Walker's senior year in high school at Park City were outstanding and phenomenal as he dominated the two defenses he played, Washington and South Ogden. What's up guys, this is the Dollar Dog 17 bringing you a new episode of D'Artagnan Walker and Road to Glory. <laughs> So here you go, we're starting off week three against Riverdale, and the first play is an opening kick where D'Artagnan Walker gets out and down. He didn't. He had a great return there, it was probably like 60 yards or so. And this next play is a play to Craig Ostrander, who gets a nice 11-yard reception. And here we go, first and ten. The power fake jet, it usually works to perfection, but not this time, as he only gets a 60-yard rush. Can't believe I'm saying that, but, you know, usually he has super large rushes like this, where he gets the touchdown. So, Riverdale already has a deficit to make up 7 and nothing until this play on 2nd and 5, when D'Artagnan makes a nice 12-yard rush. My man getting it done there. So, 1st and 10. D'Artagnan running to the right side. Spinning around this guy, and the guy came back around to bite him. And this time, the play that seems to always work, the power fake jet. D'Artagnan looked like he went in there, but on the next play, we are going to punch this baby in. I was going for the hurdle, trying to get knocked over, but that did not work out. But, anyway, he's got the touchdown. Another one. So we're going to move forward to the second quarter. D'Artagnan breaking away from this defense. Outlasting speed. Except that guy had more speed on him there. A 35-yard rush. Beautiful play. So a third down and four. 334 left. We're not going to get this one. So it makes it fourth and six. And we won't convert. Or we're... We can't get the field goal. Or the uh, touchdown, but this play we get the touchdown, so that basically just made up for all of it. And you can see D'Artagnan is just pumped up. Second quarter coming to an end, and this play is intercepted. This ball is intercepted, I should say. And uh, yeah, he's going to go in for the touchdown. So make that 21-7. to Somehow we get the ball back, and D'Artagnan running to the left side. He looks like he's got this one. All the way to the house. Not quite, but 60-yard return. Not too bad. But, uh, yeah, we won't score. Now we're going to make a huge move to the fourth quarter. D'Artagnan, 19-yard rush. And he hands the ball over to the ref like a boss. So 2.14 left, 21-7. to Park City over Riverdale. The pass over to D'Artagnan. And he's going to have a nice touchdown reception right there. You can see he is just pumped up, ready for more action, if he gets any more action, because we're coming on the end of this game, and it looks like we're going to simulate, and here we go, 124, first and 10, D'Artagnan gets the ball, running right to the outside, breaks a tackle, almost in for the touchdown, about three yards out, and... On this first and goal ensuing play, he gets in for another touchdown. Three touchdowns, an outstanding day for D'Artagnan Walker in week three. As we're going to take the victory here once again. So we have three victories under our belt. Here you go. Here's our play of the game. It's the power fake jet and D'Artagnan is in for the score. And, of course, he's your player of the game. 40 carries, 239 yards, 3 touchdowns, 2 receiving touchdowns. And here you guys got another look at his stats. If you didn't get to see him last time, his receiving yards, not so great. But, uh, yeah, he got 5, he's now a 5-star prestige recruit. And that makes us gold. Michigan and Arkansas offered us a scholarship at halfback. 
And now, okay, we can't accept Wisconsin. So it's basically between West Virginia and Washington. And the reason we can't accept Wisconsin is because we did the series with Brian Phelps before. So we went ahead with Washington there. And now we're going to change up our appearance a little bit. We're going back to the basics. Standard two-bar robot running back. And the visor. Have to get the sick dark Nike visor right there. So we're going to save our appearance. And we're going to move into week four. D'Artagnan already on ESPNU. And for some reason after this game he got off of it. I don't understand that at all. But nonetheless... Here we are in week four. So here we go, playing Pleasant View this week. And we're looking for a hole, or I should say D'Artagnan was looking for a hole to the right side. But he's not going to find much of one, as we now have 343 left in the first quarter. Second down and 13. This play works to perfection as D'Artagnan runs out to the left side. And my man turns on his turbo jets. And he's gone to the house for a beautiful 62-yard touchdown run. He's just completely psyched after that one. And you can see Weisbecker was playing around with him there, getting him psyched up for the next time he will be running. But look at this. He just completely dominated this defense on that play. So, later in the first quarter, first down and 10, D'Artagnan got another play, break in tackles, not down yet, and he's finally pushed down after a 15-yard rush. So, pretty good run there. And now we're working on this weird play that is not going to work out at all, as it's picked off. So, uh, yeah, I don't think D'Artagnan's going to be doing too well at a quarterback position. Just doesn't sound like him at all. But 4th and 12, second quarter. Deep pass, and he is gone. Chris Hussein, or how do you say that? He made a beautiful touchdown catch. So make that 13-3. to three. Coming on the end of the second quarter. Another pass, I think that was to Wise. Nope, same guy. Chris Hussein, so our coach is going to talk to us. And we're going to have to figure out what play we're going to be doing. So we're doing corner strike on this play. Still trying to make time. We have two timeouts left. First and ten. Steve Merka looking for a pass over to, uh, what's his name? Same guy, Chris Hussein. This guy is on fire. So second down and four now. We're going with four verts. And let's see what happens. So Steve going to get the ball, and Artanian kind of had some issues there. And look at this. Craig Ostrander, another play, 24-yard reception, gets us in the red zone. We, we might have been in the red zone already, but nonetheless, first in goal. Steve Merka looking for a pass over to D'Artagnan, and he's got the touchdown reception that puts us up. 19 to 3 and you can see the energy coming out of D'Artagnan beautiful pass beautiful catch works out just like that so third quarter now second down and six handoff to D'Artagnan ran around this guy got a little juke he's still not down it takes like five guys to bring him down after a 25 yard rush and uh, 169 yards that's not weird at all Okay, look at that play. He just trucked that guy just like in the uh, South Ogden game where he completely met. Uh, what am I trying to say? Just completely dominated the other guy. But you can see another touchdown reception for D'Artagnan. He's turning into like a wide receiver. Second down and six now. Steve Merka handoff to D'Artagnan. Looking for a hole. He's got one out to the right side. And that guy is way too fast to, uh, for him to run around him. But second and three, fourth quarter, D'Artagnan's got a perfect hole. And that's another score. This man is getting all of our touchdowns and just making it look too easy. Power fake jet works every time as he runs to the outside. It looks like he's not going to get it, though. But huge play. Look at... Oh, man, it looked like he was almost in. 
after a 44-yard rush. But ensuing play, he's messing around with everybody and gets in. But I was trying to hurdle again, and he uh, happened to trip on his own guy, almost like teabagged him, and then he got in for the score. So it works out perfectly every time. So exactly one minute left in the fourth quarter. Steve Merka handoff to D'Artagnan, and he's in for another touchdown. This kid is on fire. He's like, hello, Heisman. Okay, not quite, but uh, still an amazing day for him. And that's going to cap off this episode. So thank you guys for watching once again. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, do whatever you need to do to enjoy yourself after this great episode. So we'll see you guys next time for the next episode, which will feature possibly games 5, 6, and 7. So we'll have a complete game. and eh, complete game. We already have complete games. We just need to finish off this season. And then after that, guys, it's basically the playoffs. So, yep, I'm going to be signing out, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.